Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, it broke the frame off of the Pesama. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam and G Drive. Now, yesterday, one of my favorite YouTubers who goes by the name of Spears the Amazing HD uploaded a Beam and G video where he attempted to connect the giant chain to two different cars and just kind of run them in between this, this pole right here and kind of make them snap together. Now, he had pretty good success, but I think that I have streamlined this and you can make it so we can get the best result possible. Now, what I've done is I'm just on the regular grid map here and I kind of deleted all the stuff that was in the way here just so we had three equal lines that just go straight down and then I put the pole right in the middle and now if I line these trucks up just right and then connect the giant chain because uh, if you, you can use the small chain but then there's a better chance that one of these is going to go off track and kind of drag the whole thing down so I think the best way to do this is with the giant chain now this thing is a little bit heavier so your car isn't gonna go as fast so you're kind of want to get you're gonna want to do this with a pretty powerful vehicle but just to test this we're gonna use two D series just because they're really easy now the hardest part is probably just getting these things connected because you have to drag all this shit way over there on each side like so so let's go ahead and do that and see if we can't get these things connected. Come on, you stupid chain. What the hell are you doing, man? Now, I don't believe that this method is going to be perfect, but I do think it is going to work a little bit better than just using, than trusting the AI, because everybody knows that the AI in Beam and G is, uh, well, you know, it's fucking trash. It's pretty bad. So the, the AI just wants to do a bunch of stuff. So we're actually going to see if this is going to work. Now, what I'm most worried about is the chain actually, tr uh, causing the truck to kind of go to the right and then we probably won't have as good of an effect so I think I'm actually going to be controlling this one alright so let's see if we can't get this other side connected it should it's right there so just go right up on there there you go okay so we are set so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this one in just a little bit so it is a little, a little bit less likely to go to our left here so how you do this is uh, people have been asking me how I do this anyway so this is a good excuse uh, I pause the game and if you're using a controller, you push the right trigger uh, just for a few seconds. That will rev up the engine, and it, you can't see it happening, but it's happening. And it'll just release when you unpause the game. So then I switch to the other truck, and then I just control it normally. So now we are both going, and hopefully we'll stay pretty st straight, but he's already going to the left. But that's what the giant chain is for, so we're still going to get... <laughs> oh, Jesus. I wish he wouldn't have gone to the left that much, but yeah, we still got caught between the two. So maybe, oh, now we're in a tug of war. Oh, shit. Oh, I think my truck might, oh, actually, they're the same exact car. So they're pretty much not going anywhere. But yeah, that's just like a proof of concept. So let's try to refine it now and see if we can get the perfect collision. Because it's going to look awesome when it works. It's just, you got to you gotta work out the uh, kinks, you know, the kink in the chain. All right, so maybe if I have it pointing even farther in, it'll be, le it'll like line up, it'll still start going left, but it'll be at the perfect time so that we can clothesline the shit out of these two cars. So, we're gonna leave that right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the, oh shit, this thing went down. God damn it. <sighs> this thing takes forever to, to get into position here, but it's worth it. It's worth it. This is gonna be awesome, guys. All right, now we just need to get this all the way over here there we go that's pretty close could be a little bit closer kind of does suck with the giant chain just kind of getting it into position but it gives you a lot more leeway which is probably better in the long run all right so come on just get right under there you go and get this one right there i think that's pretty good so let's go ahead and switch to see if it'll go on come on there you go yes there that's what i was looking for all right, is this one gonna go? Yes, it is. All righty, so I think I think I'm I feel good about this one. So let's go ahead and pause it, rev up that engine, rev up those fryers, cause I am one hung. Okay, let's do this, and go. Come on, work with me. Uh, I wish he would go a little bit faster, but he is going a lot more straight. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be it, guys. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's what I was looking for. That was beautiful. Now, if we were just going a little bit faster, so maybe, 
Maybe we should try a drag car. Oh, shit. I don't even know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. Fuck it. Alright, so we're gonna switch out this D-Series for, I'm thinking, a Barstow drag. Now, where the hell- there it is. So, I'm pretty sure you can still put the hook on here. And, uh, it should be good. So we're gonna have to take off this wheelie bar. But yeah, let's switch this one to the Moonhawk, maybe? I guess they don't technically have to be the same car. It just is for convenience sake, so they're pretty even. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try the Moonhawk, though. The Drag Edition. Now, these are both very, very fast cars. So, it should be pretty exciting. To s they should have no problem at all, uh, dragging that giant chain. So, let's get our car set up, and let's see what happens. Just a little bit closer. There you go. That looks pretty damn good. Okay, is it gonna connect? Come on. I see ya. Do I need- you need a little bit of help there, buddy? There you go. There you go. Sweet! Alright, one down. And is this one just gonna go? Yes, it is! Okay, I'm excited about this one, guys. Probably not gonna work on the first try, actually. I'm gonna- I'm gonna pull this one in just a little bit. Because, yeah, I don't know which- I don't know which direction this is gonna go. But we're gonna go ahead and pause it, rev it up! And switch! There we go, and go! Oh, fucking hell! Oh god, oh god! <laughs> okay, 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 stop, stop, stop! Stop! Um... I wouldn't say that that was a success, but I wouldn't say it was a failure either. Let's go ahead and try that again. I feel like this should work, but uh, yeah, that was definitely not the, what I was looking for, but so we're gonna go ahead and try that again. He shoots! Oh, he scores? I mean, that's pretty damn close. I'm getting kind of good at that now. Whoa, what the hell camera is this? I don't even know. Okay. No, not cinematic camera. There we go. Get your bitch ass on there. Do it! Oh, shit. It's a little bit fucked up. That could cause some problems, but, uh, come on. There you go. There you go. Okay. Maybe I should control this one? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just go for it. Here we go. So, Rev that up, and let's go. Oh, that's looking pretty good. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> okay, apparently the uh, drag cars are just a little bit too powerful. It's impossible to time this right. So, yeah, we're just going to move on to some fast and powerful cars, but not drag cars. They're a little bit too much for me to handle right now. So, I'm thinking maybe, um, I don't know, maybe an SBR8 or SBR4, I mean. I don't really know. Oh, uh, there's a lot of powerful cars in here. Maybe, maybe the rally edition of the Sunburst? That could work. It's a pretty damn powerful car. But, oh, you know what? Maybe the sleeper edition of the Pessima. Oh, that could be good. Okay, let's spawn that up, because that is a very, very powerful car. So I think it wouldn't have no problems whatsoever pulling that chain. And it can go in a straight line. It, honestly, if you go anything but a straight line in this thing, you're gonna be flipping over. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this one out. Alright, so we have the two sleepers connected. Will this work? I don't- I, I'm not really sure. But we're gonna try anyway, so let's go ahead and pause. There we go. Switch and go! Oh, it's looking good so far. Just don't go too far off track. Oh, fuck! Oh! Whoa! Okay. So, that was- that was very promising, I think. If we just move this one in a little bit more, kind of facing this way because it does tend to go to the left pretty damn quick, I think we might have a winner here, guys. So let's go ahead and spawn that back up. There we go. And yeah, you know the drill. Let's just get this connected again. Let's just get on with it. All right, so we have this at a pretty harsh angle. I'm actually going to do it even more. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hope that didn't mess it up. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it anyway. Okay, it's- it's- it's good, I think. Uh, yeah, that is a very extreme angle. Hopefully we don't actually get run over here. Anyway, here we go! No, oh, he got stuck. Oh, shit, this is horrible. Oh, no, wait! Wait! Oh! No, 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 we're just tracking him around by the chain. Oh, my God. Oh, he's really wrapped up in that bitch. Oh, shit, we crashed. Okay, yeah. Note to self, don't get caught in the chain. Alright, maybe this'll work. I hope so. Here we go. Please. I just I just want something spectacular here. Please. All right, and go. Oh, that looks good. Oh, he still went over to the right a little bit, but holy fuck that ro- Oh, God, the chain. Holy shit. That went flying. We actually broke it, I think. Uh, 
goes the other sleeper. What the hell are you doing, man? Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. And just put it even farther. There we go. Okay, so that's like a really, really harsh angle. So let's go ahead and do this one last time. I feel this I can feel this one in my gut. I know this is gonna work. Okay, please. Alright, there we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. And go. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh my god, here we go. Oh what's gonna happen? Oh, it broke the frame off of the Pessima. Oh hell yes. Oh, the chain's coming back for us. Oh fuck you! <laughs> Now that is what I call a win. Holy hell, it ripped the entire underside of the car off and uh, it broke a bunch of shit. My god, that was awesome. Okay, <laughs> guys. So yeah, that was my take on the old uh, chain plus pull in two cars. Uh, Spears, if you're watching this, I hope this helped you out. You should definitely make another video on this because it is an awesome idea. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya! Also, Spears, if you want to collab, just uh, hit me up, bruh.